Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest dev channel and beta channel inside of Preview Builds, which in effect, the dev channel is still testing 25H2 features and the beta channel is testing 24H2 features. So just a quick look and a quick overview as to what's new in these latest preview builds. Now, I did post a video earlier on today letting you know that the annual update for 25H2 alongside 24H2 has been rolled out to the release preview channels. Before that's rolled out to the general public towards the end of this month. I'll leave that video linked. And because Microsoft now is busy finalizing 25H2, we are starting to see a bit of an overlap in features in the dev beta and the release preview insider channels. So for the dev and beta channels, Microsoft, the first thing they've done is they've rolled out a new Copilot prompt box, which is designed, Microsoft says, to streamline user interaction with Microsoft Copilot. This enhancement, Microsoft mentions, helps save time and allows you to type a custom prompt directly into a text box, which is then sent to Copilot along with your selected content on screen. Just take note though, Microsoft says this change is not yet rolling out to Windows Insiders in the EEA or China. And then the next new feature once again is for click to do where there are now new visual animations for the right edge gesture in click to do And what we're looking at in this next feature for click to do is new and popular action tags, which Microsoft says are designed to help you discover its newest and most popular AI powered actions available to you. So Microsoft focusing a lot on this click to do feature, be that in the release preview channel and the beta and the dev channel. So like it or not, that's where Microsoft seems to be putting all their attention. Now, just to mention the next one, it's regarding the recommended section in the start menu, where Microsoft says it's trying out a small change in the recommended section of the start menu where it will show examples of prompts that you can try using in the Copilot app, such as creating an image with Copilot. Now, once again, I just think this is a lot of bloat. Pushing so-called ads for things you can do in the Copilot app in the recommended section. I don't think that's anything I would personally use, but nonetheless, that seems to be Microsoft's focus. And then next up is the introduction of Emoji 16.0. which introduces a small but thoughtfully curated set of new emojis according to Microsoft. And with this build, you will see these new emoji available in the emoji panel. Now, what we're looking at here is Microsoft says face with bags under eyes, which says it captures exhaustion or the need to rest, fingerprint, identity or security, root vegetable represents healthy eating and gardening, leafless tree, symbolizes winter emptiness or dormancy, harp, a timeless musical icon with ancient roots, shovel, useful for gardening or metaphorically digging out of trouble, splatter, expressive and fun. And that's all according to Microsoft with new emoji 16.0. Now just to mention the next one, Microsoft says it has made some improvements for using Xbox game controllers for gaming on Windows 11. Short pressing the Xbox button opens game bar. A new change it's introducing is when you long press the Xbox button, it will open task view. Pressing and holding the Xbox button continues to turn off the game controller. And then Narrator, which is an accessibility feature, has received a bunch of improvements. I'm just going to go through these very quickly. Microsoft says it's made several improvements to ensure Narrator delivers a smoother, more reliable experience when working with documents in Word. So as mentioned, just to go through this quickly. First of all, there's now more natural voice feedback, better footnote navigation, reliable continuous reading, improved comment reading. They've improved creating and consuming lists. They've improved creating and consuming tables. There's now clearer guidance at table boundaries. There's less confusing entry announcements, better feedback during selection. And there's now improved awareness of non-uniform tables. So quite a lot going on with accessibility and that narrator feature. 
And Microsoft says that after being temporarily disabled, advanced settings is rolling out again to Windows insiders in the dev and beta channels. And that's also available as part of the 25H2 feature update, as I mentioned in that previous video. And here's something interesting. The next one up is Microsoft says it's introducing a simple reminder that appears as a SCOOBE screen, which stands for Second Chance Out of Box Experience, to let you know your Microsoft subscription needs attention, for example, if a renewal payment didn't go through. Now, I personally would just call this a nag ad. But nonetheless, Microsoft says in just a few clicks, you can review and update your payment method and keep your subscription benefits uninterrupted. And as far as I'm concerned, this is just Microsoft pushing Windows 11 to become basically a subscription-based sales platform. Because Microsoft is doing this a lot in the operating system, which I do find in the comments isn't being met with quite a lot of positive review for obvious reasons. And I would just consider this to be a nag ad. And guys, that's more or less what's new in the dev and beta channels. Nothing really, I would say, really worth writing home about, so to speak. And then over and above that, we get fixes that have been made available. And then we get known issues because these are still preview builds. So those are expected. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.